Hey, in this video, I want to show how I fix spaces between the wall and the baseboard. Okay, so first thing I'm going to use is this uh, sheetrock. 20 minute compound, so it chemically sets up in 20 minutes. All right, so this is the kind of mix that you want. Should be a thicker mix like that. Shouldn't drip too easy. You want it like a, a good thick paste. Now the good thing about this, uh, this type of setting plaster is that it doesn't shrink and it has excellent uh, crack resistance. But even if it does crack, that's not going to be a problem because the next step after this will solve that potential problem. And you kind of want to get it as good as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect at this stage. Okay, so I got that center, that center line the filling area good so now I just want to clean up all this excess has been pushed off to the side so it's just going to be a matter of taking my thumb running collecting some of that extra and then just getting it back into my pan Okay, so I'm going to let that set up for about 20 minutes to half an hour and then I'm going to come back to do the next stage. Okay, so that has dried and now I'm going to add some caulking. I forgot to bring my caulking gun, so I'm going to show you just another way you could do it that's not ideal, just to push on it. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to get uh, pushed into place anyway, so just need to get the bulk of the material that we're going to be using roughly in place. Okay, so that's got that. Next, you're just gonna use your thumb. The thumb is the best tool for this. And that's it. To keep this line sharp right through, I'm gonna take off a little bit more caulking. So to get in there a little more, just use a, just use a smaller finger. Okay, I got a little bit of a line there, so hold on one second. <clears throat> All right, I had to find my knife. Okay, so to get rid of that. You just gotta be careful because you don't want to mess up that that caulking. Just want to get the just want to get that excess off. Once you get, once you get that excess off, then just, uh, just gonna use your thumb again 
and just kind of smooth that out. Okay, so all that's left is just some kind of uh, some crumbly stuff. And I'm gonna let that dry up. And then it's just a matter of just knocking off that crumbly stuff and it comes off a lot easier once it's dry without messing up the caulking. Okay, so that is dried and cured. And so now I'm just gonna paint the baseboard, let the baseboard dry. I'm gonna tape off the baseboard and then I'll paint the wall and then I'll peel that tape and it'll be a nice sharp line. So basically I don't have to be too careful about not getting the paint on the wall because I will be cutting the wall to the baseboard after. And always peel your tape right after painting. Because every now and then you can get some bleed through and it just, it's, it's easier to clean that up and scrape off the bleed through just after it kind of tacks up. But if you wait till it completely dries and cures, then it's a real pain to uh, get any bleed off, off of a, wood floor or, or linoleum or whatever so so that's pretty much it so I'm just gonna come by and I'm gonna paint this wall after and then that's done and there's no more gap oh yeah one last thing so it might seem like that takes a long time but because I'm only working in a small area um, if you were to do a whole length at a time it's actually not that slow and most areas don't need the setting plaster. You just, you could just, you just normally, as usual, you just fill that with the uh, caulking. I'm just, the point of the video is just to show how to fix when there's like a real excessive gap. Okay, thanks for watching.